Hello friends. This video is about focusing and the unclear edge. Focusing as developed by Jean Jenlin and Carl Rogers while they were working at the University of Chicago is based on the premise that psychotherapy patients would recover and move forward in life more easily when they had the quality of being able to pause, to sense inside for what they didn't already know. The patients who were talking about their problems and talking about their life situations in the same way over and over again tended not to get better. And the patients who would express the same emotions, the same sadness, the same fears, the same anger over and over again, also tended not to get better. But the patients who were able to stop and pause and sense into the whole feel, the whole felt sense of their life problem or situation, these were the patients who were able to get something more, something more, some more information from their introspection than these other patients who were simply talking and emoting in the way that they always did. So to give an example of the unclear edge, this morning I receive, as I always do, um, marketing through email, marketing through Instagram, marketing through Facebook. And this morning I had this sort of bodily self felt reaction to the marketing that said, just get away from me. I don't want you to stop. You're wrong. I don't like this. I felt really invaded, really um, like something aggressive was coming towards me. And I really didn't want that in my face. And, you know, my head from what I already know, my head brain will tell me, well, of course you don't like aggressive advertising. You know, that's something that's so capitalistic. And we know that we don't like this capitalistic way of being. We would like to create a more community oriented way of being of more or sharing, sharing information, sharing goods and services, a more something that I believe is more fair for everybody whatever level of income that you're at. So all of these things I already know. And yet when I went to focus, when I went to go deeper into my heart, deeper into my body brain, my gut brain, and really listen to what was inside, my bodily sense feel, the unclear edge of how I feel inside in a deeper way about this advertising. What I discovered my, was my body showing me symbols, my body showing me memories, a specific memory I had from when I was a child, when a stranger, a not particularly well-meaning stranger, came to the door and wanted something from me and was very seductive with that wanting and in a sense, violated a boundary that should, ought to have been there for a child. So that aggressive seduction, that aggressive marketing felt to me like the same thing. It felt to me like a boundary violation. It felt to my body my whole experience, my deeper felt sense. It felt like, as I said, it just felt like a violation. And so when I was able to be with this edge of knowing 
and this felt sense of knowing much deeper into my into my body I was able to say right yeah that's what I don't like it's not so much somebody offering another beautiful offering or whether I want it whether I don't want it but it's really not so much about that it was really more the felt sense of not being able to differentiate not being able to feel the power to say no the power to have help in making decisions about what would be healthy or not healthy for me so that's the power of staying with the unclear edge and of going in sensing what we don't already know in a deeper bodily way staying with that mm, what could that be taking time with it Pausing with it, staying with it. Getting a whole sense, a whole felt sense of the situation. Perhaps your body will show you symbols, pictures, memories. Get a feel from those pictures, symbols, memories. Ah, that's what's going on. That's how I feel. 